how to write a concept paper for academic purposes. Concept paper serves as a foundation of full research proposal. It helps determine whether or not a certain research or project is feasible. It is used to gain feedback prior to presenting a full research proposal. Here are the steps in writing a concept paper. First, with your chosen topic, briefly explain in the introduction the purpose of your research. Is it to clarify an issue, to validate a theory, to add in an existing knowledge, or to gather data or information? The introduction serves as a guide to how the rest of the concept presentation is preempted. This is an example from Lango 2019. The reference is provided in the description box below. Second, explain the significance of your research. Elaborate why there is a need for the study. To do this, cite concrete pieces of evidence that will prove the importance of the study. This is done by presenting scholarly publications that will prove your point of the significance of the study. This is an example for significance of the study adapted from Lamo 2019. Third, related research will further strengthen the significance of your paper. This provides a background of the area of your chosen topic. This will help you prove that there is a gap or niche to be filled in the gathered related literature and that your research seeks to fill the gap. This is an example for the background adapted from Lamo 2019. Fourth, state the possible contribution of your research by presenting your research questions. Through the research questions, you will be able to implicitly present the objectives of your research. Furthermore, research questions will explicitly provide the research gap, which should be cohesive and coherent with the stated significance of the study. This is an example for the research questions adapted from Lango 2019. Fifth, to explain how the concept of the research will be achieved, you have to elaborate the methodology that you will use in answering the research questions. Explain the procedure that you will use in filling the gap by elaborating the quantitative data collection and the qualitative data collection. This is an example for the methodology adapted from Lango 2019. Sixth, do not forget to provide the list of references of the cited works in your concept paper. Always remember to properly acknowledge the authors of the borrowed ideas you have used. Last step is to construct the working title of your concept paper. Although this is placed at the beginning of the concept, for me you can only construct the working title once you have finished all the aforementioned steps. It is called working title because it is subject to revisions based on the comments and or corrective feedback from your professor. This is an example for the working title adapted from Lamo 2019. Remember the parts of a concept paper are working title, introduction, significance of the study, background of the study, research question, methodology, and reference list. Check the other videos in academic writing. Happy writing!